Mr. Morgan, you're suing your former fling, Ms. Gentry Lee, to prove that you fathered her one-month-old daughter, Amaya, and say today the DNA test will show you are her baby's dad. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Gentry Lee, you say that it's impossible for Mr. Morgan to be Amaya's biological father and want him to leave you alone when the results prove your case. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Morgan, why do you believe she's denying you're the father? Uh, I simply believe that she's denying this because we're no longer in a relationship and we, we're not going to be. So, you think she's just saying you're not the child's father because she's not with you anymore? Yes, because I moved on. Is that true, Ms. Gentry Lee? No, Your Honor. Explain. <sighs> this is very upsetting to you. Explain to the court. What are you feeling? <sighs> I just feel horrible because... <sighs> for one, she don't deserve <laughs> this. But she do deserve to fig figure out the truth. Is he not her father? She deserved that. <laughs> But she did not deserve what she's going through right now. So, Mr. Morgan, you're convinced you're the father. Yes, Your Honor. So, I explain am. to the court how this relationship started. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I'm in artist management for a living. Um, when the time I mess, met Miss Gentry Lee, she was with an artist that I was um, considering signing. I called to speak with him and to tell him, you know, come over, have a drink, let's sit down, discuss some details, and see what we can do. Well, Ms. Gentry Lee had answered the telephone, and she said at that time that uh, he was no longer with her. Their relationship is over. I stated that I was at home, chilling out. I already prepared for him, you know, to, to be there with me or ready to come over. I was going to have a drink and kick back. No. And she said she come over. One no. thing led to another. We ended up being intimate that night. And so, Ms. Gentry Lee, did you think you were dating someone? Were you at the potential to be in a real relationship with him? At the moment, yes, Your Honor. But what he said is a whole lie. Well, it's completely a lie. Because he asked me to come over and chill with him that night. So he, he said, come over and, and chill. And we led into sex. And then he asked me to stay with him. What do you That's mean? He asked you to move he in? He asked me to move in. Not true. And then he's totally flipped the strip on me. What happened? We got into a big old argument and he, t he was trying to put me out. I got tired of it when he... He was bringing other women in, like my family member. And I caught him with my family member. What? He was sleeping with your family member? He was member? sleeping what? with my family member, Your Honor. So sorry. I completely told him I was done, so he called me back September the 19th, Your Honor. So I stayed with him September the 19th. We did a quickie. Then I left him that day. Quickie and went with another guy, Your Honor, that actually helped me with my baby the whole pregnancy. I was not showing with Mr. Moore, Your Honor. I was not getting sick until I met my, my other. The other person. Yes. Now, listen, so this is why you're convinced that Mr. Morgan is not your child's father. Yes. Because you didn't have any pregnancy symptoms, you didn't have anything yes. until you were with this other guy. Yes. Now, take me to the point where you realized you're pregnant. I realized I was pregnant after I was getting sick with the other. So the other took me to the clinic. Yeah, this, or is, this is this is totally totally inaccurate. Fabricated, wonderful imagination. Mm -hmm. Love it. Not true. What's the other part of this that I'm missing, okay, Mr. This is Morgan? The real story. At that time, where she was at my house, she stayed ended up staying at my house for well over two months when she stayed there. I asked her the second day. When she was there at my house, why haven't you left yet? She that explained, is not true, she explained Your Honor. He did to not me ask that, me that when I asked her that, that she had he nowhere did not ask to go, me that. that she had nowhere to go, no. she was staying with a family member of hers, and her family member thought she was a bad influence on the rest of the girls that were there in the house, and she couldn't stay there any longer. So you end up living together. Yes. You all are having sex. Yes. Unprotected. Yes. Then you find out she's pregnant. Yes. Do you tell Mr. Morgan as soon as you find out, or do you tell no, the other Your guy? Honor, I didn't. I did not tell Mr. Moore I was pregnant. But How did you find out she was pregnant? She was at my house. She needed some hygiene products. I was going shopping for my own things. At that time, I figured she had been there for a month. Like, okay, so when is, when is your period? Basically, when is, are you going to need some pads? She's like, yeah. She put them in my top shelf that's next to my bathroom, and they remained there. They never got open. She never used one. 
And after the time, I'm like, okay, why aren't these open? Why aren't you using them? I haven't had my period. Why haven't you had your period? I don't know. Well, let's check and see if maybe you're pregnant. Because that's usually what happens if you miss a cycle. So I made an appointment. And at that time, she went in for a urinalysis test to take a urine test to see if she was pregnant. Okay? Once she went and took that test, they told her it was inconclusive and they needed to draw blood. She called me and told me that herself. I said, okay, she said, I've been here all day and I'm getting irritated. I do not want to sit here any longer. Well, they did make her wait longer than she should have because it was a whole nother hour before she called me back and said, I'm leaving, I'm on my way back. What happens after that? I didn't really ask her any of that. I'm a very observant person. Me and her. Because we was too busy. Two people that Your Honor, we was too busy house. getting drunk that she, night mm-hmm. because I was so upset that I was not pregnant. You wanted to get pregnant? Yeah. Yes, I did, Your Honor. But I- not by him. <laughs> Thank God that they told me I wasn't pregnant because he... He's no good, Your Honor. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. How old are you, sweetheart? I'm 19. Mr. Morgan, how old are you? 37. (laughs) Mr. Morgan, I can do the math on the baby and see she was of age. But wow. wow. This is a very young girl. And Miss Gentry Lee, at your age, you talking about you were so sad you weren't pregnant, but you having sex with Mr. Morgan and another guy. You can't determine which person is going to be the father if you're having sex with more than one person without oh, using man, protection. That's my point. You know that, right? Right. So why were you sleeping with Mr. Morgan if you really wanted to be with the other guy? <sighs> Your Honor, really? I was just lonely that day. Because I was that heard that the other guy was that. gone. Long I'm just work. saying, a young girl, your age. I mean, when you say I'm, I'm just lonely that day, so I'm just going to decide I'm going to sleep with a man that's almost 20 years older than me because I'm just lonely today. <laughs> that, that's not what 18, 17, 18-year-old girls need to be doing. You know that. Right. <laughs> right. At what point, Mr. Morgan, do you find out she actually is pregnant? Oh, when she sent me the ultrasound picture. If I'm not the daddy, then why am I getting the ultrasound? And why well, are you sending you... the ultrasound picture to my family member also? Did you, you send the ultrasound for picture? You asked for those. So what, you just, out of the blue, just decided to tell me that you took an ultrasound? No, because so at why, first... How would I even at first, I wasn't going to tell you nothing. So how would I know that you had taken an ultrasound if you didn't send me a picture or give me an indication that you had? Explain that one to me, because I don't get it. Well, I get it. (laughs) You don't really deserve one. I want to get it. I want somebody to explain it to me. (laughs) If you don't send a man that you do not believe you are pregnant with their child, why would you send me an ultrasound? I don't care if I requested it or not. Well, she probably could have articulated that better if she wasn't 18, 17. (laughs) Okay, and in my defense, as far as... I mean, the th- uh, you know, that's the problem. I want to see that evidence, though. Ron, will you hand me that? Yeah. that? That's the problem here. Now, when you sent this over there, you said it was per his request. Yeah, it was per his request. He knew I was pregnant. I sent it to him. Why did he want to see it? Did you ask him? No, I did not I ask him. that unintelligent. You just did what he asked? Yes. So then why are you convinced he's not the father? I mean, let's... Be honest, whether... Because I'm not going to be with her. You know, even with... I don't want you. I really don't. don't. You don't? Okay. You are giving him what he's asking for in terms of information about the pregnancy, the ultrasound pictures, but you are maintaining that you're not the father. Someone else is. Do you know why you're entertaining this if you really don't believe he's your child's father? I don't. The only time I'm not the father is when I give an indication that this will not be a relationship. Then it's somebody else's baby, then. No. Miss Jen... I really don't care if you're in a relationship with me. Because you put me through so much hell, I don't know why. So, she's pregnant now. Are you invited to go to any appointments? You get an ultrasound picture. Do you go to appointments? Now, this... You say, the only time it's not my baby is when I let you know I've moved on and there's no chance for a relationship. Is there times when she's indicating you are the father? No. 
Yes. No. All no. the time. No. All the time. Did you go to any of the appointments? No, I didn't go what to What about when the baby was born? No, yeah. he was not there either. She up and left and moved out of town. After she was at my house and came and stayed at my house later for four more days after she was in the hospital with two IVs running in her arm, getting rehydrated, and she was hungry. So my fiancé invited her over to our house to feed her and to make sure she was okay. Well, I would like to hear from your fiancé then. Ma'am, please stand. State your name for the record, ma'am. Sharika Strawn. Miss Strawn, your fiance, Mr. Morgan, just indicated that Miss Gentry Lee was invited over to your house by you. Yes. Please explain this story to me. Um, she texts all the time, and she was texting him and saying how she was hungry and stuff, and he was like, I'm tired of dealing with her. You know, I'm tired of the running around. One day it's my baby, one day it's not. I'm like, no, you can't do that. She's gonna come over here, she's gonna get her something to eat, she's gonna get her some rest, because I'm a, I'm a mother myself, you know? Your so, Honor, that's a lie, because so she actually... You stayed in my house for like four days. You, Ashley. And I don't like it, but I deal with you, over. and I... She did and not I, I, me I invited, because he just told me. I went over his request. cousin's house. Per her request. I went over his cousin's house. You came to my house because I wanted to, to be there. We live yeah. together. Anyway, I've bought stuff for the baby. I've... Well, you know, if she bought her. stuff, where is the stuff? At my house. I sure told is. you over and over to come get it, come look at it. Miss Strong, let me ask you, because I can't really get an answer from Ms. Gentry Lee. Why do you think she's saying that Mr. Morgan, your fiance, is not her child's father? Because she wants to still be with him. Ms. Gentry Lee, it's okay to admit if you want to be with him. Your Honor, I don't. Ms. Gentry Lee, <laughs> at the end of the day... At the end of the day, I'm gonna love my child. She don't course, need... Of course, of course you are. She does need her, daughter, <laughs> her daddy. She needs a daddy. Everybody does. Hmm. It's very hard to understand what your position is and why it is. I mean, you spent significant time with this man. Now, even though you said, you know, you were with your, your other guy and you like him more, you love him, you're glad you're with him, it doesn't negate what happened with Mr. Morgan. Is he really not a possibility? Yes, Yaron, I got proof of when I left him September the 19th and was with... Actually, the dude that been around my... You have proof of the timeline. Yeah, you're saying the timeline time. doesn't match yes. up. Can I see that, Ron? Yes, ma'am. You're, you're saying the reason why you don't believe he's your child's father is because when you do the math as to when Amaya was born, conceived, and when yes, you were with him, it doesn't match up. Yes. So, you were intimate with... With the Mr. Other... Morgan, yes. where it's in red. Yes. In the morning. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon... Is blue. Is blue. With the other. So you slept with both men on the Damn. same day on September 19th? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Then, on the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, you slept only with the other guy? Yes, Your Honor. If these facts are true, mm. whatever window of conception the doctor may have given you, you've slept with two different men within a week. And so that means both are possible fathers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it just is what it is. I was about to say it's in black and white, but it's really in red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only way to really get down to the bottom of this and what the truth is is to get the results. I'm ready yes. for the envelope, Ron. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Morgan versus Gentry Lee, when it comes to one-month-old Amaya, it has been determined by this court you are the father. I don't get her. 
We've been through hell and bad. Born. I never got to hold her. I never got to. She moved away when she was eight months pregnant I on us. I you to stay at my house. You could have stayed. You With me. With me. You said I don't like you so much, but I was there for you. I bought your baby clothes. I fed you. <laughs> Like but so whatever this like agreement you. we have with us, Tyrus, I don't think she'll be around you. Oh, I'm sorry. A, I'm letting the judge question. And I will be filing for joint custody. Mm. Please believe Goodness. that. Goodness. This little oh, baby. Yeah. Baby. This That's innocent baby. little baby. Really? Your reaction right now is very immature, but you are. And that's why you really don't have any business standing here because you can't even process this. You so young. You can't. I want to be mad at you, but I can't. You could be my daughter. Ms. Greenhouse, you summoned Mr. Thompson to court for a DNA test for your seven-month-old son, G. Yes, Your Honor. You claim he has neglected his responsibilities as a father since you called off the wedding last month. Yes, Your Honor. Additionally, you are also suing Mr. Thompson for $750, the amount of the down payment you put on a vehicle for him. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson, you claim Ms. Greenhouse confessed to having sexual intercourse with another man one week before you reconnected from a break. Yes, Your Honor. You say it's impossible that you are her child's father. Yes, Your Honor. Now, your mother, Susan Thompson, is here as well and also questions the paternity of this child. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Greenhouse, first to you. You were going to marry him and then now he's denying your son. Yes, Explain. Your Honor. Oh, well, I was going to marry Gregory. We were dating for 11 years off and on. I have a four-year-old son by Gregory, and I also have a seven-month-old by Gregory. I called off the wedding because Greg is he's insecure and he's uh, disrespectful, and I don't want to marry someone like that. After 11 years, you just figured that out? No, it's like... <laughs> no, we were together for 11 years off and on, but I had my four-year-old son. Right, uh, I went off to college. Right after I had my four-year-old son, I got pregnant. We tried to make it work there. In between the four years that we, after my son was born, we tried off and on, and it still hasn't worked out, and I just finally got tired of it. Every time I turn around, is you messing with this person, you're sleeping with this person, but Greg dropped me off at work everywhere I go. He has my phone. He dropped me off and picked me up. So where is it time to cheat on you at? 11 years you've invested, and now you feel like G is not your child? Out of 11 years, eight of them, I was the one trying to keep this together when this always fell apart because How? Of her, You're always accusing me of sleeping of with her, somebody. Her family and all the rest. You're not in a relationship with my family. You're in a relationship now, with me. That's what I was trying to figure out. But why do they always come up? So how why do, do they how always do, come how up? How do your mama... This one and the other why sister... Why How everybody think up? they got more authority how? over me and mom? How? How? separated from everybody. Hey, Explain to me what's going on here. I'm not understanding. You're, you're saying her family caused the riff as well? We made G. We wasn't even together. I was How going over there back and forth. You're at my house. Uh, now that afterwards. You... When, uh... Hold on, Mr. Thompson. So you're saying when you made G, meaning you are G's father, you believe? Or you... At the time, we... At the time, we conceived him. Or, or suppose we conceived him. She was still having sex with multiple partners. That's a at lie. The time. You asked me who it's did not, I have sex. It was never multiple partners. It's so not don't a ever lie. come at me like that. I, you it, asked me who did I have sex. What I do? What I do? Then we had sex. I my had bad, sex. Mom. What, I, what I do? I went through two your phone. Prior. I went through your Facebook. Two weeks prior. Every it ain't no two prior. weeks. She testified two weeks before, and you're questioning that time frame. If so, how? Like I said, around that time, we wasn't together. We was seeing each other a little cordially here and there, but not really. But we yeah, I guess, I guess it was right. maybe it was around... I don't came uh, exactly the time it was around. But when I came and everything happened, even with leading up to that time, I'd already confronted her and she admitted out her own mouth, out of the, the pictures, the texts, the phones, the messages, what everything... Pictures? What everything, pictures? Everything I presented what to pictures? you... Everything what Everything I showed you... To me? We were a family. Everything, we wasn't a family. We everything I showed her, she told me together, and admitted to it on her own. Together. Okay. I cut off everybody to be in a relationship with you, so how's it a problem? Ma'am. That's a lie. Ma'am, the question okay. was asked to him. Mm. Mr. Mm -hmm. Thompson, you said you were the one trying to hold this family together. For out eight the, years, you eight, said. Eight out of the 11. Every time. I brought this back together. And she used to say, then, you only, you only with me or you only try to keep this together because of SJ, which is my first boy. And, uh... That's a lie. That... That's a lie. Man, look at here. Like, like so I said... We was only together because of SJ? 
This is what you told me multiple times. I told you don't you really want to be with me, Greg. You're you only with me Greg, because of SJ. I told you, you that. And to a, major, to a major extent, yes, because of my son, the all-American way, your mom and your original mom and daddy and raising your kids together. If it don't work, it don't work. But I tried my longest and my hardest. Why do you go back to him over and over again. Because, Your Honor, I love Greg. I've been with Greg for 11 years. Greg was my first actual boyfriend. I, I planned on having a wedding with this man. I have two kids by this man. I planned on living my life with this man. When Greg talking about my family, when I was pregnant with my son, me and my family had an altercation fell off. I didn't talk to my family for months at a time. When I moved out of my sister's house and moved into our own apartment, I didn't once. have no communication with my family. They once. shouldn't even be brought up in this. These are the main All ones right. who helped you draw your relationship to the ground. What do they got to do with it? You keep living in the past. I'm not living in... You the are. I'm moving on, baby. I'm trying to figure out if, baby, if G is mine. Greg, and so you say her family has interfered. How? When we in the, when we in the dirt and we struggling, we come up on a little here and there, she giving money to her, her mom and everybody else. But we, when we in the dirt, we my mama give me it. money. My we sister give me money. It. We don't have it. But the, you give your mama money, your sister <laughs> brother money. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, here, I'm here about the baby, man. Your Honor. Yes, Miss Thompson. Speak. Greg doesn't give me money. If anything, when they fall on hard times, I help y'all with rent. You have never called I help Greg y'all with life. You twenty dollars into another uh, ho- day to hold you over. Nope. Never. You, you know okay. what? You know what, Chrissy? Okay. If I have, okay. I've given him millions. I should have. Okay. Something and what's the problem with me giving my family? I should what's have. What's the problem something? with me giving my family? I'm not addressing your okay. family. What I am okay. telling you, and what then I'm telling you, why you frowning? Give you money. Is, when I when do it, we're not hurting. Done, I help them as much as I can with rent. You know, and lights. Car payments, whatever they need, whatever I can do to keep them a family together, I will do. I'm, I, I'm not up in all this. That's all about the kids. It ain't even about all this riffraff. Get to the babies. What all right. Get to the babies. babies. So this doubt that you have comes from the two-week before incident. You think this two-week uh, relationship was something that continued? Around that time, like I said, she was talking to multiple guys. And she's admitted. And then, like I said from jump, not Before to go we had back, this, she like said, I told you I she had said a week. For somebody else, two hit weeks. The fan, two weeks. It was a wrap. No, two weeks. What do you mean? When you, you say when everything hit the fan, it was a wrap. When, 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 when we when we start breaking up or, or, or problems start building and piling up, it, it, it wasn't much that we could do because I already got my doubts. What I'm trying to understand is if she admits to you that while we were off, I slept with someone, and then you decide to get back together. You, you know this, right? This is not a surprise to you that she was... She was... ...with she, this other person, but you're saying that's what makes you have doubt about G's paternity. Just everything around that time. And because around that time... Exactly. ...she was sleeping with someone else. But Multiple. if you had doubt, you should have brought that not seven months later when my son is seven months old. Don't bring doubt seven months later. This you is, his this is not... This is... Matter of fact, Your Honor, when I, we was in the hospital, Greg asked we, me about his... Can I, can I pro- approach that? Approach yes. That. Yes. Okay, well, can I go show you Come this? On. When yes, I was yes. giving birth to my show son in the me. hospital, Greg came to me and said, what name do you want? Do you want G-E-E, G-I-E, or G-E-I? And I said, G-E-I, and that's my son's name. My son is uh, G. Joaquin Thompson. Everything is extra with you. It's I not. I didn't do it's neither not. one of them at the top. Okay, I told you, you didn't do that at the hospital on the whiteboard. The at the hospital stuff. with me and you, you didn't do that on the whiteboard. Like I said, on the whiteboard, you didn't do when that. When he came out, she know okay. I said something about him. He, he looked, well, when we were at the hospital when I gave birth to my first boy. Okay. Yeah, it, it, she know. She know this. This is not the first time it came up when she contacted. When she contacted Your Honor, you. He this said is not that the first time. Let me say something in the hospital, Mr. Thompson. When we was living did together. Did you help choose the name? I did it. Yeah, yeah I, I chose the name. Up, I came you, up with and it. you were at the hospital when G was born. I've been with her the it whole just time since pregnant. And you signed the birth certificate. Yes. I was. Be- I've been with her the whole speak? time that she before was pregnant. Before we signed the birth certificate, I asked him did he want a DNA test. He told me no. You're saying you did, in fact. Help choose the name. I, I did the whole... Ms. Greenhouse has suggested she asked you about a DNA test and you declined. I said something about it and she said, they said they don't, they not gonna do that That's here. That's a lie. That's, That's that what she stupid. told me. They don't do DNA tests at a hospital. And so, Ms. Greenhouse, you said you have a witness that can testify that, in fact, he did deny wanting a DNA yes, test. Yes, Your Honor. Please stand, ma'am. Hi, Step Jess, up to the Lori. podium. My name is Shantae Gunnels. I'm Kristen Greenhouse's youngest sister. I'm only here because I was there during the time that Chrissy and Greg rekindled their relationship. You're saying you were there and you overheard something as it related to Mr. 
Thompson not wanting to have a DNA test? Yes, ma'am. What did you hear? When it came up to them going to the hospital to have G, Chrissy was talking to Greg or whatever. She was like, hey, make sure... Be, right before they, they brought in the paperwork, they the affidavit stuff. She was like, are you sure you want to do that? We can get a DNA test. Greg said, man, shut up. Like, he was excited. He was like, man, shut up. For what? That's exactly what he said. And you heard that. I was on the phone with her. All right. Thank you so much for your testimony. You may be seated. Mr. Thompson, what other doubt do you have? When I got my four-year-old son back not too long ago, he going out of nowhere, out of nowhere, y'all, and he tell me, but that ain't my daddy. But you got a whole girlfriend, but, so what am I doing But that ain't my daddy. I said, what you talking about? I said, who, your, your mom's boyfriend? He said, yeah. What you mean is you felt like he was saying it's G's yeah, daddy, but it's not my daddy. Figure. It might be G daddy, but you my daddy <laughs> is what he telling me. So I called her. I just summed it up. You shut up. Said, Mr. Thompson, let's be respectful to ladies. No, nah, see, that's his problem. Ma'am, 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 I'm gonna escort you out of the courtroom if you open your mouth one more time before you're addressed. You understand me? Yes. Thank you. You stay there and please be quiet. So since G has been born, what has Mr. Thompson done for your son. When we were together, financially mm -hmm. together, he will together, we put our money together and buy diapers and wipes, but as far as clothes or anything, Greg hasn't bought G anything. We're not together, because when we're not together, she got this high power, want to sit on the high horse and think she gonna run me or, or make me do something. A baby just needs like, formula, a baby like, needs diapers. Just he don't like move on your time. They, he don't move on your time. I you know? do the world. Okay, I you give him the world. You they don't. know that. Anybody know that. Did it for her kids, did it for her sister, son. Don't lie. Don't sit here and lie either. All right. Because I done fed you. All right. And she didn't fed you. Sir. She ain't fed me. Oh, all she had you right. her house. I ain't fed all y'all. Okay, Ian. Oh, Come down, Come Come down. Come on. You had Come on. You had Ladies, 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 ladies. Miss Thompson, I'd like to hear your testimony, but can we just yeah. talk one at a time? Yeah. Why does this doubt exist? Did your son speak to you? Do you have a I level of a doubt of your own? G does look exactly like Chrissy. He does. And SJ. This boy has an extra large head. His daddy do, his brothers do. He don't have it. And that, that might sound a little crazy, a little harsh, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just being honest. As far as him not taking care of his child, Greg is a darn good dad. Stand he he really... Be quiet. He really is. <laughs> He really is, Your Honor. And she's a good mother, don't get me wrong. But when they get into this little squabble, he's yours, he ain't yours, I don't have time for all that. I'm morally concerned about the child. Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> Ms. Greenhouse, you have a suit. You're asking the court to award you $750 because you say you made a down payment on a car for Mr. Thompson. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Did you bring uh, any receipts Yes, Your Honor. That would validate that claim? Yes, Let Your Let me Honor. see that, please. So this is a receipt for a deposit on a Chevy Impala 2008 for $750. Yes, ma'am. You're saying you put this down payment down on a car for him. Our fam No, not for Greg, for our family at the time. You believe there was an agreement that he would pay you back? Yes, because... Do you have evidence of that agreement that real. he no, would pay you back? No, ma'am. Mr. Thompson, did you agree that you were gonna pay her back the $750? She, she never paid me no... She never gave me $750. She didn't go in there and do it. I did it. You're saying you paid the $750? Yes, Your Honor. And you're saying you paid the I $750? I paid it with my, my income tax return, yes, ma'am. Without any proof as to where that money came from, I can't award you $750 because there's no proof. You said, you testified just a moment ago that the car wasn't for him, the car was for your family. Mm -hmm. For that reason, I have to deny your claim judgment for the defendant, mm -hmm. all right? Let's move forward. So regardless of what the results are today, you all still have to figure out a way to interact and get along respectfully. Your Honor, I really wish I could. My four-year-old boy, I keep him and I do the world for him. But I call and, uh, you as and, uh, you uh, tell no. my son you you disrespectful. She, you gotta shut up. No. When I call, uh, Ms. when I call, Mr. Thompson, talk to my son, Mr. it's a problem. Thompson, the way you're speaking to women is disturbing me. Yes. All of this no, is disturbing. <laughs> You have a mother, a strong mother. You would never want anyone to tell her to shut you up. You talk to her like that. Well, no. you do. I talk to you like that. You do. 
Yes. We ain't here for me. Okay, right. I can take That's care of me. That's the truth, right. Trust me. That's fine. Trust so, me. You ain't gotta take care of mine. You know that. And you, you I take care of mine. You know it too. Okay, to you. okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What can I speak, Your Honor? Please. You already had your chance. You shouldn't have been here speaking at all. These poor children. Mm -hmm. they, they, how, they, exactly. How can exactly. you grow up like this? Exactly. Exactly. You all are I, zero to one million. I mean, just doing popping thing. off. Would you like yes. the results? Yes. I have them. Yes. Yes. Shut them up. Shut them up. In the case of Greenhouse versus Thompson, when it comes to seven month old G. Thompson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Thompson, you are the father. <laughs> you are the father. I feel more relief. For what? And you than, knew this had, jump. No, I did. I you did. knew this from jump. You knew I had died some jump. Everyone's she has entitled to, to their beliefs or doubt, but my whole thing is like, don't doubt my son when I break up with you because you're disrespectful. I told That's you this when we was together. No, you did not. I you told you, you, didn't, you didn't start doubting. He had my head. He had my weight. That's he it. Was it. Way, Please, my sir. first son. My, sir. Sir. Kids don't always look the same. It's Kids don't. Some order. And this is what I got to deal with. Some order. Just be quiet. Y'all can't do this. You all said you've been together for almost 11 years on and off. Pain. Now you've made two children and brought two children into this world? It's like they're in a horror movie. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is a nightmare for a child. For whatever y'all don't like about one another, you keep ending up in the bed together making babies. So you can open your legs but not shut your mouth. <laughs> Ms. Hines, your boyfriend and the father of your six-month-old son, Jalen, was recently tragically killed. Since then, you say the defendant and his family have denied your son and the survivor's benefits your son is entitled to. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Copley, you believe the plaintiff is trying to pin her son on your deceased brother for financial gain and to make matters worse... You believe she is manipulating your mother. Mm. If mm. today's results prove your brother isn't the father, you want her out of your lives. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Hines, tell me why you opened the case today. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today to prove to James's family that he's the father of my son. I've had a rough childhood myself, and I even told James himself that I refuse for my child to go through what I've been through. I've come from a broken family, and I'm sorry, Your Honor. It's okay, take your time. I really love you. It's been hard. I've been living with her. I've been living with them since I was 17. I've been on my own. I've been on my own, really, my whole life. And for people, I don't know, I really, I honestly don't know where the doubts come from. I don't, like, they won't help me. They won't even see him. They will... <laughs> so the family you're saying will not help you with Jalen because they don't believe... I've not one time stepped out on my relationship. And not this once. has happened all since... Mr. Mansfield passed away? Only, it literally started after he passed away. Yes, he was murdered in June. And me and his son was down here visiting. We came to see him. And he died when he got off of work. How old was Jalen? He's nine weeks when he died. When Mr. Mansfield passed away, nine weeks. Oh. Yes. Mr. Copley, I want to ask you... Yeah. And I see how hard this is for you as well. Very hard. But you're here because you doubt that James was actually Jalen's biological father. Can you tell the court why you have that doubt? Because she's manipulative. She, I think she's in it just for survivor benefits and uh, the life insurance from my brother. 
she, I, I just, I don't, I don't trust her, and, and I think she's using my mom. And so you say you don't trust her? No, I don't trust her. I've, I've lived in the house with them. The whole time that they was there, I was there. Ms. Hines, can you tell the court about the nature of your relationship with Mr. Mansfield? Well, How long were you together? Five years. We basically grew up together. He took my virginity. Um, it was a first for everything. Our first kid, everything. So we basically, of course, we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Yes, our relationship had problems. And so what were all these arguments and fights about? You keep saying we weren't perfect. I know nobody in here is perfect, but what, what was going on? His friends won't, like, they like me. And he would get upset that they would, like, flirt with me and stuff. And I would, I'm not hiding anything. I told him. And then that's when we argue about it. Why didn't you do this? I didn't want no fights or anything. So, Mr. Copley, do you, you said you know about... about these fights. What, what do you remember? Did your brother think Ms. Hines was seeing other people, was dating other people, sleeping with other people? His best friend, Jordan. His very best friend, Jordan. So, wait. Your brother thought Ms. Hines was having sex with his best friend? Yeah. That's, that's why they was constantly fighting and broke up. Were you fighting over the best friend, Ms. Hines? Yes. You were? Yes. The, uh, the tell him nothing happened. Like, I can't help that he likes me. But he understands that I'm with him. I want to be with James. Understood. So, now, you're saying you were just friends with him just like James was? I met Jordan before James, actually. We dated before I met him. And um, it was only, like, a week or so. And Jordan... He had ended up having another girl in front of my house and we broke up. And then I ended up meeting James a couple days later. And then I, when I went to James's house one day, Jordan had came over and that's how I figured out they were friends. So you knew the best friend first? Yes. I want to hear from this best friend. Jerome, will you please escort Jordan Smith into the courtroom? Hello, Your Honor. Hello, Mr. Smith. Thank you for joining us. I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Have you been intimate with Ms. Hines? Yes, Your Honor, but this was after James had passed away. And I guess you could say we were just kind of needing someone. We both lost someone that was close to us. So, are you claiming you never had any sexual relationship with Ms. Hines before Mr. Mansfield passed away? Yes, that's correct. You did not? I did not have no sexual so relationship. So, how soon after his I passing... I think they were having sex before James passed. What did you say, Mr. Copeland? I think they were having sex before James passed. You do? Yeah. And why do you feel that? Because if it's supposed to be your best friend and that's supposed to be the love of your life, how are you going to go sleep with his best friend. How soon after his passing were you all intimate? Two or three weeks. Two or three weeks after? Mm-hmm. Mr. Copley, do you believe Mr. Smith could be Jalen's biological father? Yes, I do. Your Honor, there's no possibility. No possible. No way. I overheard her talking to one of her friends saying that she had sex with Jordan, which I don't know if she knew I knew or not. And I really do believe Jordan's the father. How do you know that? Because I heard her say. He's... He's seen us alone together. Like, when James wasn't around at the house. I, I, I've been around him his whole life. I, I lived in the house with my mother and everything. That's... I miss my brother. I, I just want to do this for him. I want to find out what's going on. I, I can help her if she needs it, if this is my nephew. I mean, I want him to be my nephew. I really do. So that way we can have something from him. Can I ask you, did you have doubts prior to the baby being born? I, I couldn't say until I seen him. And then he, he sent me a picture and a text and he asked me if it looked like him. Does it look like his son? And what did you say? Uh, I, I, I wanted to be there for him, I, I, so I told him, yeah. But you didn't really believe it? I really didn't, know. 
So, Ms. Hines, Mr. Mansfield was at Jalen's birth. Yes, Your Honor. Can you tell the court, was he excited? He was thrilled. He was thrilled. Did he First... express doubt? No. Not one time. Did he no. sign the birth certificate? He signed... We signed the papers, but his name is not on the birth certificate. What do you mean he signed the papers, but his name's not on the birth certificate? The hospital has lost it. So you're saying the hospital lost your folder that had every document that Mr. Mansfield had executed on Jalen's behalf? Yes. He was excited signing them. He was thrilled. He's like, I'm really a father. Like, his, these are the words coming out of his mouth. <laughs> he actually cried real tears. Like... <sighs> Mr. Copley, I, I, I need to know this. Were you aware that your little brother had executed everything necessary to acknowledge paternity? No. He didn't say anything about that. He didn't say Instead, nothing. Instead, he sent you a text saying... Asking if, he, if the baby looked like him. If I thought he was the father. So no one sends a text and asks, does the baby look like them, unless they're doubtful. Mm -hmm. well, He's exactly. never one time gave... He never asked or anything. I'm just... I'm tired of all the rumors. I'm, I'm, I'm just here to shut everybody up. That's, that's... <sighs> I think she's wanting money and insurance money from my mom. That is not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to prove that James is the father of my son. All right. I see you have a witness with you. Yes. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Carla Copley. Miss Copley, you are Mr. Copley's mother. Yes. And the deceased mother. Yes. All right. So James was your son. My baby. And yeah. you're here sitting next to Ms. Hines because you believe your son is the biological father of Jalen? I know he is. That's his baby. It's just like him. His eyes, his expression, his skin color, everything. And I love Tay. And I don't doubt anything she says. So, are you concerned at all that Ms. Hines and Mr. Smith have admitted to having a sexual relationship two weeks after your son's passing, that your son has witnessed arguments between your son James and Ms. Hines over Mr. Smith? It, it does bother me some, but Jordan's not the father of my grandson. My son is. And so, here on the monitor... On the left is a picture of Jalen, and on mm -hmm. the right is a picture of James as mm -hmm. a baby. And you say it's like... Identical. James all over again. Yeah. Everything. Smile, the eyes, the face expressions. He's such a happy baby. Like holding James. And that's, that's my connection to my son. And here you see a picture of Mr. Smith as a baby as well. It looks nothing like him. Nothing. And you're confident that this is your grandchild? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. So, can... Can we just be honest and say, are, is there a part of you that's hoping, Miss Copley, because you hope your son left a piece of himself behind for you to love and to raise? I think everything happens for a reason. And... That's why Jalen was born, because God was going to take James. Have you prepared yourself? If by some chance this is not your grandson, have you prepared yourself at all, Ms. Copley? No, Your Honor. I haven't, because my heart knows that's my grandson. And when your son says to you, Mom, James sent me a picture, and he asked if the baby looked like me, which led me to believe he had doubts, does that make you... I don't think he had doubts. I think he was just joking with Randy. My mom needs to open up her eyes and, and start thinking for herself. If it's not his, yeah, put her out. I mean, there's no reason for her to be there. I'm not putting her out, even if it's not his. No. <laughs> they have nowhere to go. And he's been mine since she was pregnant, even before she had him. He's not going down the street. Never. Neither is she. I don't think there's anything left to do except get the results. <laughs> These
results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In order to determine paternity, we performed two tests. A relatedness DNA test with Mr. James Manfield's closest biological relative, his mother, Ms. Carla Copley, and a paternity test with Mr. Jordan Smith. With that being said, the DNA results determine if Mr. Mansfield or Mr. Smith is the biological father. The results are as follows. In the case of Hines versus Copley, when it comes to six-month-old Jalen Mansfield and whether Mr. Mansfield or Mr. Smith is the father, it has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Mansfield. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God, Mom. You found me back. You found me back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh no. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you, too.